Hey everybody, welcome to Here I Go Travel Company and tonight I'm going to take you inside Flower and Garden 2024 at Epcot at Walt Disney World in Florida. The other day when I stopped by, it was not open yet, but they had a lot of the topiaries out. It is officially open now, so let's head inside and take a look around. I'm going to show you some new things tonight and I'm going to stop for some food gotta say it is a little bit chilly and windy tonight here at Epcot but what's making a splash up flower and garden this year is right behind me this is Groot he is near the Guardians of the Galaxy ride so come take a look at him and get a look at his mixtape <laughs> He will be photographed a lot for sure. Baby group. Not to be outdone, but no one lined up to photograph with him is Buzz Lightyear. And where is Buzz? Of course, he's right in front of space. Mission Space, you're gonna enjoy seeing Buzz and Shields. what I would actually describe as behind Connections Eatery. This is uh, between Connections and Guardians of the Galaxy. This is Donald Duck with his sunflowers. Just turn around from Donald and you will find his nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. So cute. flower and garden at Epcot you will find these gigantic displays of florals colorful and making designs on the grassways along the water unfortunately I am close to this one it is much more spectacular to look at it from afar <laughs> Most of the kiosks will operate just like this. They're making the food as fast as they can. You order and you come up with your receipt and you just get the item. They'll hand it to you. So then you just stop by for um, silverware, napkins and such here and head out to eat. I'll show you what I got. One of the reasons I'm not a huge fan of festival eating at Disney World is because I'm too much of a fan of the mobile ordering. And these kiosk lines can get long and you can wait like for a ride, like a long time for an item. So uh, for that reason, I don't do a lot of festival food, but I am gonna do festival food with you today because I know there's a lot of fans out there and I know you wanna see what's happening this year in 2024. So, uh, let me start with this. You want to stop and get your festival guide. These are free. They're at every cashier. They're in every store. And there's a few things I want to point out to you. So this is going to have all of the menus, all of the drink offerings, and where to find them. And there's a few things that have caught my attention in here. One is the topiaries are all identified here and where to find them. So if you want to photograph anything in particular, be sure to take a look at this list. Also, I found that they were having some tours right here and some of them are complimentary and some are not. So there's a particular one that I'm interested in, this guided tour. It's complimentary, it is 30 minutes, and it says limited availability, but I don't know the timing, it doesn't say. I'm gonna head over to the UK to see what I can find out about that. There's also a concert series. There's different uh, bands on different nights. I wasn't interested in who was playing today, so I'm not gonna head over there or make time for that. Uh, but one of my other concerns with 
kiosk eating is that it takes three or four stops to make a meal. And some people like that, but um, it's really very disjointed touring is what it is. So what ended up happening is I ended up with my dessert first because it's the first thing before I head into the country. So I got this at Brunch Cut. This is directly in front of Test Track. You can actually hear Test Track in the background as I am filming. And this is not going to participate um, with one hand. So let me pick this up. This is a cinnamon roll bite. It's fried. It has sugar and cinnamon on it. And it has candy bacon on top. You can't beat that, folks. Let's give this a go. All right. I'll do my best to eat, um, you know, civilly <laughs> for the camera, right? It's pretty good. I would say, in general, if you're not used to the festivals at Disney World, try to keep it simple. Try to order things that you normally like. I'm a huge fan of cinnamon rolls, so that was on my list. I'm a huge fan of tea, so I'm going to head over and get a chai tea at one of the other kiosks. And we'll see what I end up with tonight. I'll show you as I go. Because they make your world one honey of a place. This is the playground set up in Epcot. And it has lots of flowers on its own. Here's a little canoe full of flowers. Here's some more flowers identified. place for kids to play, burn off some steam. A lot of strollers parked here. Kids enjoying. Maybe parents are getting a little snack nearby. A favorite topiary of Flower and Garden this year will be Mickey and Minnie and their ball, Pluto. Honestly, I can remember as a kid coming to Disney World and I can remember the topiaries at Epcot. They left that much of an impression. So make sure you bring your kiddos to Disney World. They have topiaries out most of the year, although maybe not as much as Flower and Garden Festival. And you can plan your next Disney vacation with me through my website at www.hereigotravelcompany.com. I have planning appointment link there for you. I love that the Blossoms of Fragrance is presented by Scentsy. <laughs> if you're familiar with Scentsy, oh, lots of wonderful and very bold scents come from them. gardeners in the group if you're there please contact me please leave a message you can see the bold displays along the water back there as well it's so beautiful as the Sun is going down I'm trying to get as much footage as I can before it gets too dark We have a little pineapple growing right here too. Fun. Thanks for coming with me today. Our mint growing right here.
see anything you recognize? Do you have anything like this in your garden? Straight ahead, just as you are entering into World Showcase and deciding whether to go left or right, you will find Mirabelle. Some characters from her movie Encanto. I can't believe this. I can't believe you very much like being at the Rose Bowl Parade, the Rose Parade, right, in California. It's very similar to that. Only you can get up much closer here. So next up is my beverage of choice tonight, which is an iced berry chai latte from Joffrey's. You have to be careful with Joffrey's because they have a different festival offering at each of their locations. So you really have to look at the guide, see where it is so you can get the right item. Mm. It's topped with whipped cream and cinnamon. I gotta say the berry flavor is not very strong. It is very cinnamony though. And I love cinnamon. As you just observed me eating cinnamon, <laughs> cinnamon roll bites <laughs> at brunch cot. <laughs> mm, it is delicious and sweet. Pro tip on the uh, iced latte <laughs> for six and a half dollars it was about three sips there is so much ice in there there's very little liquid and there's just a huge chunk of whipped topping on the top so this one was a wah wah okay it's time for some more topiaries as we head back into the UK at World Showcase we have the Pooh Bear characters Piglet, Eeyore, Tigger, Pooh and Rabbit are right down here. I am so glad I was able to make it into Epcot and get some of these while it was still light out. Okay folks, here's the lowdown on the tea tour. I stopped in at the UK and they had this sign up. So I already missed it for today. They have a 1 o'clock and a 3.30. They only hold 20 people each tour and you have to sign up on the day of your visit. So I can't reserve like for later in my visit, like um, another day. However, you can sign up earlier in the day. So you could come at like 10 a.m and sign up for like the one o'clock, okay? It only holds 20 people, so that's not many. So you might wanna do that. I also was given this self-guided tea tour. So it's basically the same thing. If I want to just go through it myself, it goes through um, the different sections of this country here at World Showcase, and it talks about the different types of tea that are growing in its garden. And I can't wait to see it. I hope I get a chance to do this before I go. And if I do get timed out and I don't make it to one of these, or maybe they're full on the day that I come back, I'm gonna do the self-guided one for sure. So I grabbed it. Thanks for joining me. Here we have the Peter Pan characters. Peter Pan and Captain Hook.
finding a place to sit and eat near these kiosks is next to impossible. But all around the showcase are these high top tables with no chairs. So you can stop and eat while standing. Isn't that fantastic? This so beats mobile ordering and finding a table in a restaurant. That would be awful. Okay, here in Canada, I got seared scallops. This comes with, so you can see I'm eating in reverse order. I've already had my dessert, but now it's time for a little sustenance. I got green beans, potatoes, two of them roasted, and then the scallops here. Okay, let me take a little bite, give it a try. That's one strong seafood flavor, folks. Okay, but notable at the Canadian Pavilion is the chocolate whiskey cake. It looks delicious. I'm sure it is delicious. It sounds delicious. However, I can't eat a dessert at every stop. So it was time for some actual food and this is what I chose in Canada. Stay with me.